Dan Sindel, and today we'll talk about the Sonus G2M Guitar to MIDI Converter. And what's so cool about this box, it allows us guitar players to access high quality samples and virtual instruments through the MIDI cable. It's plug and play, which means we don't have to have a MIDI pickup installed. And for today's session, I'm going to hook it up to my Pro Tools rig and show you how easy it is to use. We'll create some loops, and I'll show you how to create notation with it. Using your G2M couldn't be simpler. All you have to do is plug your instrument cable into the guitar jack, and on the other side you've got your MIDI out, and you have an instrument through in case you want to connect another device. The battery will get you about 70 hours, and as soon as you patch in your guitar cable, you'll activate the tuner. And it's a great idea to make sure you're in tune. If you're not in tune, neither will be your MIDI. And now all you have to do is take your 510 MIDI cable and plug it into the MIDI out, and that's it. And the last part of the process is just to make sure that we insert the 5 pin MIDI cable into the MIDI in of our hardware device. I happen to be using a Digi002 control surface and it should be noted the G2M does carry the standard 5 volt power and is able to power up other MIDI devices. In this demo, I will use Pro Tools LE version 8, and chances are you may be using a different digital audio workstation, but the concepts remain the same no matter what software you are using. I've already created a few instrument tracks, now let's go ahead and highlight a 4 bar region and we'll create a loop. As you can see down at the bottom of the screen, we have our MIDI editor open and those same 4 bars are highlighted. Now let's bring out a virtual instrument that we can explore. I'll play an open A string and we can test out some of these drum loops. This is very cool. I'll move expand out of the way. Now let's go ahead and record a 4 bar loop. As you can see I still have the 4 measures highlighted here on the instrument track. And as I hit record let's keep an eye down at the bottom of the screen at the MIDI editor. As soon as the recording stops we should have notation on the staff. And there it is. There's our open A. That's the open A string that I hit and let ring out for 4 measures which in turn triggered the drum sample. Let's go ahead and play this back really quick. Now that is awesome. As a guitar player, I sure hope you see the potential in this. To make things more fun, let's create a synth bass loop. And because we're using the G2M, we can now access professional quality virtual instruments like DigiDesign's Hybrid. This is a very awesome virtual instrument. So let's go ahead and choose a really hard drive and bass sound. Yep, that one sounds pretty good. Let's move it out of the way, let's record enable our track, and let's give it a try. And as you can see, the MIDI data is drawn in real time. If you've been looking for an affordable way to tap into MIDI guitar, then the Sonus G2M is definitely a hot product worth checking out. Alright you guys, we'll see you soon.